This is Richard Lawrence in Thundersound Studio, interviewing Ultimatum on behalf of From the Depths Entertainment. So Ultimatum, what's new with the band? Um, we have a deluxe edition coming out soon, probably within the next couple months. It's just going to be released digitally on Apple Music, iTunes, and Spotify. Um, we're in a bunch of different magazines uh, since the third full-length album was released. Um, we're also playing Canada Day locally here at Thunder Bay. Um, a lot of new music, a lot of different projects. We're working with a few different people overseas and uh, helping us out with promotions over there. And we've been in a different, few different radio stations since the release of the third album as well. So, been doing a lot of kind of follow-up with the third album right now. So that's kind of what where we're focused on, and we're focused on releasing the deluxe edition as well as a few new shows coming up and and any other offers that are that are coming our way for sure. So. Still write some new music too for future projects. Not too long ago, you guys played with All That Remains. How was that? That was awesome. That was a killer show. I mean, like, if they ever came back into town, I'm sure they might ask us to play again. But if not, I mean, like, that's cool too. But just being around that heavy metal like that was killer, and we all really enjoyed ourselves that night. Your favorite place to play, and why? Uh, probably, probably locally, it would probably be Crocs, maybe. Um, it seems to have a really good sound system. The Foundry is pretty cool too. These are two local venues in Thunder Bay. Um, they probably, in my opinion, have the best sound. And uh, Crocs is always fun because, like Brendan mentioned too, we get to play with a lot of different acts. Um, it's it's a pretty wide open venue, and it's definitely one of our bigger venues. Um, so it's really it's it's always a kind of a hot spot for for local artists as well as a lot of out of town artists. So we really enjoy playing there. Uh, they're all pretty big, but stage wise, there's a lot of room there. You can fit a big like showcase band in the back and still set up a like a, an opener in the front what are you guys currently listening to been listening to lots of 80s hair metal <laughs> yeah <laughs> for some reason i don't know what it is just been drawing lots of inspiration from that these days and it's kind of been showing up in my beats <laughs> cool. great to the roots huh great to the roots. yeah uh been listening to a lot of different music um i like listening to a lot of different alternative music um some some dance here music Mm -hmm. just to kind of expand how we play and, yeah. and our influences are really come out in our music you can hear a lot of that and it's kind of like a melting pot it, we, we kind of listen to a bunch of different artists and it kind of somehow just kind of makes its way into the music so I think as a player it's really important that we listen to a bunch of different music not just one style just because it's more eclectic and we're able to draw from more mm -hmm. influences that way so. I know you guys mentioned this before but any new music in the pipeline um, I'm pretty sure we're all constantly coming up with ideas and writing new music. I go home and when I have my own time, I'm writing new music before I even have other songs done. So yeah, that'll, yeah. that'll never stop. That's just the creative aspect of being an artist and a musician. And most, uh, what, what's coming up most currently is, is the deluxe edition, right? So it's the first, or the original 12 tracks on the A Monument to Time album, plus I think it's an additional seven or something like that that are going to be added to that. Um, so that's the most recent music, or the most new music that we're going to be releasing within the coming months. So aside from the new music, what else do you guys have in the near future that you're excited for? Canada Day. Definitely get to play big. It's like a really big show here in our hometown, which is something we've been striving for as a group for as long as it's been around, really. So it's definitely something to be excited about. If there's one thing you could change about the rock music scene in general, what would it be? You think James? That's a tough question. Yeah, that's a, that's a hard one. No, that's a tough question. Yeah. I don't really, uh, me, myself, I uh, could play a show or something. I don't know if I'd really change anything. Rock, or... Like the rock music scene as a whole, like globally? Yeah. Um, how I would see that is that I feel like there's a lot of really cool music that's out now. I think there's a lot of new ideas, but I think some bands or some artists get pigeonholed into kind of one formula that works. So I think for me as an artist, listening to different acts, I think it's important that people are constantly coming up with new ideas and pushing the envelope. That's what we try to do. We try to kind of write new music as if it's the first time writing a song with that kind of approach and not look at what we just wrote last. Um, because that way we're kind of always keeping it fresh for us and we're keeping it fresh for our listeners as well. So when I'm listening to acts, it's very important that diversity plays a key, key role in, in the music that I listen to just because it keeps it interesting. And when people are coming up with new ideas, that just helps us come up with new ideas. And I think we feed off of that as, as writers, so. So as a band, what do you guys wish to accomplish over the next year? 
just keep moving forward with you know uh, the direction we're heading right now. Uh, expand our our reach, our audience. Um, just keep you know pressing pressing the topic. Uh, it's, it's been an exciting year for us. This this past one uh, got ourselves into some some different. Uh, Areas that we weren't we weren't with before, some new uh, magazines, some new radio stations, stuff like that. So uh, any new doors really that that are that are accessible to us at this point, we'd love to open up, take a look behind, see what's available to us. See what do you think, Sam? So? I agree. Yeah, I can't even add on that. One. That was perfect. Brendan? No, I agree. That's even cooler. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it, good. yeah, it's it's been really exciting. Like, um, you know, it's been, like James was mentioning, especially with this new album, we were kind of really excited for it to drop and then when it finally dropped we were you know all the different kind of offers that came in the door were really exciting and you know getting the new experiences like a lot of different radio interviews magazines all that stuff right working with new people is always exciting too and I think I think one of the things that we're excited about too is just writing new music I think we get a real kick off that we're not one of those bands that kind of rests on our laurels and say wow this is really cool what we're doing in the heat of the moment we kind of push forward and persevere with new writing because that's what we are first and foremost as artists so there's always new ideas on the horizon and, and that's what gets us excited too you know playing shows is awesome but I think the songwriting process and seeing something come to fruition in the studio is always something amazing because it's ours it's ours and we can share that with the world now right um, I always get a huge kick out of that awesome thanks a lot that was Ultimatum from Thunder Bay Ontario awesome thanks thanks